Gagu! Yes. I wish Warcraft 3, 4v4, RT, Golems in the Mist. Yes. I don't have the hero to abuse certain spots, aka human, but I'm sure you've seen uh, some of these videos popping up on how to exploit certain maps. And, uh, yes, I don't think I have the heroes to do it, and there's no neutral heroes you can get on this map either. So, uh, it's going to have to be some undead, to be honest. I'm sorry about that. I apologise in advance, and it's going to be some fiends. Yeah, I know. But I guess what I'll do is I'll see how well I can do with the fiends, and see how much I can dominate my enemies with these fiends. It looks like Purple wants to do a rush, but he needs to build the hero. There's no point rushing out the buildings if you're not going to build the hero. There it is. <laughs> Otherwise, it's just you're just using up and burning resources there for nothing. Right, time to get a hero of my own. Orange knows what to do. And Blue has got this sorted. He's doing a more calm, collected version of Purple's strategy. So, Purple should be on his way to the enemy base shortly. I can't help him out though, and I would do, but I'm undead. And undead can't really do much, to be honest, at the start of the game. They're very slow, they're the slowest race, unless you give them help by giving them gold or something. A hundred gold, a cheeky hundred gold at the start of the game to help them on their way. Otherwise, they're going to hang back for a while until they can get cracking. <coughs> Excuse me. Blacksmith, so rifles for blue. Possibly fast tech for orange here. And. Oh dear. Yeah, I think basically um, purple's going to be uh, out of the game for a lot of things. My life for Nezul. I'm not going to rely on purple this game. And hopefully I'm not going to have him follow me. He's going to be one of those guys who sticks his mount level 1 mountain king on my hero and just goes AFK. I can see it coming. I'm predicting it in advance. Kind of makes me grateful for the fact that I am undead and I am slow to start because he's got nowhere to go now. He's going to be aggressive because he's bored. He can't come and leech off me, which is what he probably would have done. His first initial reaction would have been. But since I'm undead, I've got nothing out so far. So he's probably going to think, mm, well, I've got to do something with this hero, so I guess I'll just stand here. That's what I'll do. So he's going to guard that. So more power to him. Meanwhile, I'm going to carry on spamming out fiends. I'm almost tempted just to go nothing but fiends. I could try that because they are sick units. They are really, 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 really good. And you could get away with it. I don't have to go Frostworms. In fact, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go 100-100 food. That's going to be my target this game. That's going to be my challenge. 100-100 food on fiends. And obviously some heroes in between. But a lot of fiends otherwise. A lot of fiends. What's going on here? Oh, that's nothing. That's just a blade master. One of it is like a 4 on one rush. could do with an expansion, but fiends aren't that expensive in the long run, considering how long they last. You're not really replacing them all the time. Never mind. I'll be alright. My skeletons can take the rest of the golem, and uh, everything is fine. It's all good. The purple's not leeching off me. That's a miracle. Probably get one acolyte out for an expansion, and probably tech after that, I think. Because I can definitely get the expansion. In fact, I'll just carry on making acolytes. The cigarette isn't going to take that long. And we'll head on get the expansion because that's going to be easy and then lots of fiends to basically back up the expansion pretty much sorted it's all in the bag I would get a dust of appearance but I'm kind of worried about item space so I'm going to not get it basically and hope that I don't have to need it uh, I could get another crypt actually to be honest I think I'm at that point now Focus the healer down first, Mr. Shadow Priest at the back, and then 
the rest of the trolls. Normally you can always go for the golem first, but he takes the longest to kill. Plus, you, if you got undead, then you got skeleton gods most likely, which means that you can leave your skeletons to attack the golems whilst you kill the rest of the other pesky units, and also use your skeletons for the unit's corpses that you're killing. It's all good. It's all good. Uh, probably got enough fiends now to get away with doing this bit. It's not going to be easy, but it's probably doable. Just got to do it right, that's all. A lot of exploiting. Get back as fast as possible before you get a bolt in your face. Keep an eye on what my allies are doing. Some sort of early rush, but it doesn't look like it's going to pay off. I wish only to spread battle be joy. Summoning is complete. Kinda didn't need that second crypt yet. I, let, I guess I got a bit ahead of myself there. Built it a bit too early. Here's purple to help me out when I don't really need help, so that's annoying. But that's basically inevitable. It's going to happen. As long as he doesn't steal the items, I'll get over it. Oh hello, time of experience. I love that thing very much. And mana stone! Hoo hoo hoo! I think now's a good time to be aggressive while spamming out the fiends, but I want the tech first. Because of web, basically. <laughs> if I'm going to be super aggressive, then I'm going to need the web, just in case my enemies have rushed to, um... What are those things called? Oh, yeah. Air units. So, uh, yeah. Keep an eye on that. I've got full inventory space, and look, he spent all of his resources on this, so if I could get there before all of those towers go up, I have totally and utterly screwed over this guy. Yeah! I'm not in a good position here. Get a couple of towers at least. Get back a little bit. Oh look, green's here. Gonna lose a fiend. And I'm probably gonna get the archmage. Almost definitely. Until I get basically uh, cycloned, which is very unfortunate. Looks like they're all here to join the party, so that's not gonna work out for me at all. This guy really likes his cyclone ability, doesn't he? Oh, I've got to get back. I'm just too surrounded here. I can't really save stuff. That lasts forever, doesn't it? Fucking hell. No, you're not going to get coiled in time. Painful. Okay, that went really bad because not only was his towers almost ready, but all of them were there! Every single fucker was there, apparently. So, um, good for me, I guess. Although not good for me, and that's map pack right there. Because there's no way you saw that. Or if that was, it's very lucky that you managed to see that. But it looks like I'm going to have to have allies to help me here, because I'm screwed otherwise. Anyone want to help? Maybe. When you're ready, I suppose. Be a nice little treat for me. Gonna have to back off now because I can't do shit basically, and I'm getting totally and utterly raped. Yep, I'm the only one TPing, and I made the mistake there it's double clicking that. Yeah, this game is over. See you later. Anyone want to help? Three other people on my team, no help. Just waiting for a little bit of help. Very lucky. Looks like this guy's got the same idea to go mass fiends as well. Well, at least someone helped me out. Took a while, but we got there, didn't we? Yes, I must remember to not double-click TPs. That's such a bad habit. If you've got an expansion, you if you double-click TP, it won't go to the base, which 99% of people when they double click a TP, want to go back to their main base. But for some reason, Blizzard set it up so it always goes to expansion. So uh, don't ask me why they did that, but they did. And uh, yeah, it's not good. It's not a good idea that they did that, but that's the way it is. So I've just got to try and remember that they did that. So I don't get too owned. Like I did just there. But it would have helped if I actually had someone else to help me out there. There was three of them, after all. 
It was a one versus three for quite a while. We got a lot of the place creeped out. Still going mass fiends like a retard. Should be alright with it until the human gets mass mortars. There's not much else left to creep actually to be honest with you. Heroes taking a really long time. Level 3 heroes I think take the longest time to come out for some reason. Again, I don't know specifically why that is, but they really do take a long time. They ain't going to come out anytime soon. Got a whole ton of wood. Earth, how do you have got that much wood? Hello. Um, yeah, I just basically hang around my expansion here because I can't do much else. And they're probably going to want to come here eventually again. I don't know whether to build cigarettes here because if they do a full versus my expansion I just get the feeling that they're going to crush it my allies aren't going to help so I don't really want to build too much here but I kind of have to. such an annoying dilemma but I think I'll just have to do that. Wow my level 3 death knight is almost going to be out after about five, 5 minutes of waiting. That really takes a long time. I've got to look that up in the World of Warcraft editor but that takes an insanely long time for your hero to come back if it's level 3. And now I do want Dust of Appearance because of that Blade Master. He's doing the Mass Fiend strategy as well. He's going to get a, quite a lot of kills and he's not going to lose his Death Knight. That's the beauty. Look at the imbalance of Mass Fiends. Should force him into a TP. Triads, that's fine. Where shall I slide the spill? My patience has ended. Anyone need gold? Blue does, but I don't know if he really needs it. I'll give a little bit of gold out, but not too much. Brilliant. Inventory is full. Just what I like to hear. <coughs> and that's what Orange has been doing, just massing bats the entire game. Not much. Have I got my tech yet? Yeah. Yeah, go for it. Go for it, I don't care. My vengeance is yours. Have I got my tech yet? No, I have not got my tech yet. Oh, there we go. We need to half focus the main. I just need to sacrifice my fiends as much as possible, get in there as hardcore as possible and screw them over and then focus the drives after that because there are a whole ton of free kills when they're, they can't help them out. Not a good position for my fiends, I admit, but we'll do with it. And it looks like Teal's in a lot of trouble already, Mr. Mas. Yep, you're dead. Bye bye. Uh, uh, uh. I love this position in between all these ancients. I'm going to back off now because he's basically forced there anyway. So I'm just going to back off, go into the comfort of my allies, and uh, happy days, boss Mass and Fiends. Looks good to me. Looks good to me. Who's getting attacked? Is it such a big deal? That's one dead Crucis of the Moon in a second. Or well, maybe not. And that's all of your buildings done. Blimey, Red's kind of out of the game now. That really screwed him over. He's lost his expansion as well. Really out of the game. So if we can handle Green's Mass Mortars, which Blue should be able to. It's not exactly pretty, but I think he can handle it. If we just stick to what we're doing at the moment, then we should be fine. Should be is the operative word. But yeah, Mass Mortars is going to give them over. It's a bit of a gimmicky strat. Sometimes it can work, but it doesn't look like it's going to work with healing wards on the side. So Red is pretty much out of the game. I'd love to take out Red's hero, but I don't think that opportunity is going to arise inside of that undead base anytime soon. Take out the Moon Wells whilst we're here. Mass Fiend still coming in. And uh, yeah. It's looking alright, to be honest. There's the Blade Master, as you'd expect. Waiting for him to turn up. Fall before 
for this Which one is that? It's you. Where shall my blood I will be done? I should have actually borrowed that last thing, I wasn't really concentrating. No more Chris. Let's get dust and appearance up on your ass. I don't want you to disappear just yet. <laughs> Stormbolt, Stormbolt, Stormbolt. Yeah, Dust of Appearance goes off just as Stormbolt came. I don't think he even saw that Stormbolt coming, but either way, he was definitely guaranteed dead. Yep, I just got mortared, so they know what I'm doing, which is mass things. Nothing special there. So it's not like they can go, oh, he's going Frost Worms. Okay, I'll make special anti air. Oh, he's going mass things. Um, hmm, we better have a human that goes mortars, otherwise, we're screwed. Because you can't do much else against mass things. Torrent Chieftain, maybe with a level 3 shockwave. Nice little line. Time to take care of Red, whatever the hell he's doing. Oh. We'll go for the altar, thank you very much. Nice, we've got healing wards. That's going to be brilliant against these pesky towers. <laughs> Horrible position, but I want to get in there to be honest. Better run. Who's attacking my town now? That's a nice. Looks like all the enemies are here actually. Are we surrounded? What are my allies doing? It does look like we're kind of surrounded here. I don't get where my allies are. I'm trying to suss that out. Has he even got more uh, fragmentation shards? Because I don't think he does. I'm still trying to suss out what's going on here. There's the fragmentation shards. Where are my allies? What are they doing? Have they got anything? They've literally like lost everything. I feel like it's just, I don't even know where everyone is. I'm the only one with units. I don't know how that's happened. I really don't know how this has happened. Where is, where's the units? Seriously, I, I just, I'm at a loss here. Everything's just disappeared. Purple, he's been dicking about over here for some reason. Maybe he can make himself useful in a second. Just constantly trying to avoid those fragmentation shards. Taken care of. Mm. 
A weird game. Well, now Blue's got an army as well. Where, where were these people? I just don't get it. Where were they? <coughs> what a weird game. It just felt like I was down there for ages. I look at my allies' base every now and then, and I get a chance to do it. Just desperately looking for some sort of units, like they're doing something in the game. That's a lot of annoying towers. Back here for a moment. Our brethren's town is under attack. My patience is inside. Make your choice. The time is now. More gold is required. Our forces are under attack. Where shall my blood be? My patience has ended. You run. My vengeance is yours. My patience has ended. Your choice. They can't have much else left. At least I find that unlikely. I've got my eye on you. Don't you worry about that. Don't particularly want to attack an undead base. If I can help it. Take care of business up top then. I'm gonna try and cut him off a little bit. Has he got TP? He hasn't. How'd you like that focus fire? Fiends 3v. Ah, uh, yeah. You're pretty dead. I think you're pretty dead. Yeah. A bit of the old fiendage there. This is the how sick they are. They just don't take damage, really. You have to have very specific units against uh, mass fiends, otherwise you're not really going to hurt them much. Hmm. Oh look, they got Tauren, so that is something against them. Okay, it's time to TP back then, is it?
That is a lot of touring. That's a lot of level 6s they've also used as well, so they're out of level 6s, which is always a nice trait. Got anything else? I've just basically taken on three armies there. I'm still doing all right. Trying to get the hotkey ready. I can't really take this on to be honest. It's just too much there for the moment. We've got anywhere to TP to. Could do something here, guys, you know. Why is he feeding him with peons? Mm. This is in the bag, to be honest. Just need my allies to use their units and their armies, which they have, but they're not really using them. This game has definitely felt like a big one versus three or one versus four for the majority of it. I've definitely been doing a lot of this myself. More than I should be. We've got no gold, so I can't really risk going out by myself. my allies to stick with me because I haven't got a town portal. I haven't got that backup. Is my base dead? Yeah, let's go take care of him. I've got no acolytes left as far as I know, so I can't unsummon anything. I'm going to have no altar soon. So let's go take care of business. I'd be surprised if he has a town portal. He does. That's a lot of Tauren, but they will die permanently, so we're going to have to... Oh, we've got such a big army. Oh wait, yeah, we shouldn't be able to lose this, to be honest. I mean, he'll have his star form again, because we didn't really capitalise on it. I forced them into using their level 6s, but my allies were nowhere to be seen, they're all dicking about. Purple's like AFK in his base, so there's a lot of messing around there, so it means they're probably going to have their level 6s ready again. I want to hardcore focus that Priestess of the Moon whenever I can. We've got Yellow trapped basically, so force him into using his TP at least. Maybe he's already used it. No, nope, he hasn't. There's a lot of free kills there. I've got a lot of mana. And I can definitely take care of those Tauren now, this time round. Because <coughs> I can hardcore focus fire them a bit. There we go, look at that. What a difference it makes when you've actually got mana. What a difference that makes. Right then, um... What else do they have in the way of expansions? Not much, probably. I'm a bit worried. Precious the Moon has got lots of health. Town portals, so let's try and take care of her. 
try and flush her out would be nice. Thing is, is we need to know where they got expansions or whether they've been using them for a long time. Why has he got that orb if he's got his searing arrows on? I'm gonna go the right way because he's probably gonna go down. I want to choke him off. For the Lich King. As long as my units aren't too slow. If I could get one uber kill on him as well without him realizing, I've got to do this right though. Let terror reign. You call. Let battle be Need a reveal, and I don't have it. Oh well. My patience has ended. For the Lich King. Looks like some free kills for me then. Thank you, Green. Back, back, back. He used that way too early. What on earth is he doing? Keep focusing that yellow blade master. Don't want him feeling like he can be comfortable enough to attack us. So uncomfortable there when he's dead. Blimey. Okay, they've got a good position, so we just back off here. Let them come to us. I don't know where they're getting all these units from. One of them is slacking or not building anything, so... I don't know. Kind of need to get to those mortars at the back. What are you doing, purple? Come on. Fucking step up to the plate. Stop being AFK. Not helping us by fucking being AFK, to be honest. Purple, for fuck's sake, do something! Jesus Christ! Hopefully my allies are doing alright, because I can handle what I've got here. Forcing green to TP is always a good thing. Go back for yellow's units whilst they sort of separate out a little bit with the fiend so I don't take on too much pulverized damage. They can't have that much now. And blue's just acting like an idiot, basically putting all of his units in front of pulverize. Like he wants to lose units for some reason. Right, surely they got so hurt from that that they can't come back now. In fact, I'd just do the easy thing. I don't really want to burn through my mana here, but this will definitely take care of the expansion on top of our mortars. DK, get back, please. Stop getting surrounded. So hardcore surrounded. Gonna lose my hero? Oh, no. <laughs> you didn't. You didn't take the opportunity, did you? Backed off there. He shouldn't have done. I think he could have maybe got away with a cheeky leech kill. Fucking Death Knight, honestly. Totally out of mana, though, for my Death Knight, though, which really doesn't help. This rubbish still going on. At least we've got a Blade Master here to take care of things. Yeah, gonna force a TP back from him, but he can't even do it now actually because his is the uh, his level six is the version that doesn't make him invulnerable. Oh! <laughs> Stormbolt, Stormbolt, Stormbolt! Yeah! Have some of that, Stormbolt. 
Hmm, that's what I'm talking about. Who's left in the game? Can't be many people. Only a couple of them. Red's probably waiting to get his hero back, but probably can't unless he built his altar elsewhere. Let battle be joy. Our brethren's town is under attack at last. <coughs> For the Lich King. Oh, there's the red hero. Yeah. Come on. Let battle be joy. I really shouldn't take this on, to be honest. I really am taking on way more than I can handle there. Just trying to use micro to get away of it, but it's not a good idea. I always like to play with a disadvantage. I'm certainly doing that at the moment. What are my allies up to? Oh, there's level 7. For the Lich King. At last. Let battle be joy. I you must do He's actually got quite a bit of gold, purple. You could rebuild. My patience has ended. You need to get these peons inside My of here, but I can't imagine he's got that much left. My allies don't really seem like they know what they're doing. They're just kind of going with the flow, which is doing nothing. Yay, I got healing inside of my DK. I needed that. Well, I guess we'll just be AFK then and just... Oh, go for this. Pretty much hang around outside, because we can't really put any pressure on when they've got towers all over the place. And they've also got units. Yeah. Level 8 Mount King and level 7. He's got some really strong heroes. But my Death Knight and that, yeah, he's getting quite a bit of um, mana back. Oh, look at all these fucking Tauren coming back into the fray again. Getting to get ready for the. Uh... <laughs> Time to get back. Bye bye, Blade Master. And then the rest is history. That's a serious lot of Tauren, though, to be honest. Which are one of the few units that actually count on mass, mass, mass fiends. GG! Alright then. Oh, look. Top score. Thank you very much for watching. This has been Witty. Please subscribe, like, and comment.